They say it takes a village to raise a child. For three-year-old Enzo Cornejo and his parents, nothing could ring more true. They've flown halfway around the world from Australia to Boston, where Enzo is about to become one of the youngest children ever to begin treatment for the rapid aging disease known as progeria. It's been a long journey in more ways than one. Always smiling with chubby cheeks and a mop of black hair, Enzo seemed healthy, but at around six months, he began losing body fat. Medical tests offered no answers, and as he turned three, his mother, Katarina, noticed that his hair was starting to thin. Then we saw the genetic doctor, and he, he saw him and said, I want to discard from you. He printed the PRF yeah. webpage, and she, he told us, there is a foundation over USA that are working with this child. So there is a hope. The first day was hard for the three of us. Oh, we, we cried, but then we perceived, we said, we have to find how to help him. Yeah. Hi, Katharina. We're all set for your trip to Boston. And through the Progeria Research Foundation, Enzo's parents found the help they were looking for. Enzo came to us through a phone call um, about last summer, so maybe seven or eight months ago. Um, it was late at night because the time difference, and we immediately started them on some weight um, data that we needed to get them eligible for the trial. I got to pick them up at the airport. They were just very excited to meet us. I got, you know, big hugs, and um, I got to hear Enzo say my name, which was great. You guys okay. take a picture of your bones. Okay. Throughout a rigorous week of diagnostic tests, Enzo continued to make friends, charming the staff with his playful curiosity and his boundless energy. Besides being absolutely, completely adorable, Enzo is a real success story. It shows how far we've come. It's only been eight months from diagnosis to coming here to enroll. It's the fact that we diagnosed him early and we had the tools already in place to get him here. Yeah. Okay, no bubbles till we're done. More bubbles. No. no bubbles. Enzo is like a second generation that is reaping the benefits of our past 16 years of, of struggles and, and, and work to get to a place where we can have a drug that is helping him internally, biologically, to have a stronger heart, to have a longer life. While this is just the beginning of their journey, the family now knows that they are not alone. Yes. And everyone was asking us how we are, how we feel, looking after us, after Enzo, so that is great. You, you know that this is, the disease and the diagnostic is terrible, but behind that is all these people working for us. It's incredible. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Beso. Beso. We have hope, and we really trust that a cure will found. 